Hi guys, welcome to Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner. Happy Friday night. How are you doing? I wanted to come on and show you guys my picks for the latest My Favorite Things release. All right, so this is just what I chose to pick for this, this release that just happened from My Favorite Things. I purchased my products from the Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, that is www.not2shabbyshop.com and this is her card. And I will have links to the stuff on my over on my blog tomorrow, um, and if I and maybe tomorrow underneath YouTube as well. But I'm not going to put them on there tonight. I'll just have a link to her store tonight. Always comes in this really pretty pink um, envelope. Makes you happy when you get a pink envelope. And here's what I got. I've already stamped some things out for you to look at and cut some things out for you to look at because I want to get busy with this straight away. The first thing is. I got the handwritten happiness sentiments. They are handwritten sen sentiments. Happy birthday, um, happy for you, happy day, party, big, you wish, wish big, okay, wish big. Make a wish, birthday wishes, let's celebrate, and yay for cake. <laughs> so those are super cute. I just really like the font, and I liked how they were super thin as well, not real big and thick. So I picked those up, and I did stamp them out, one, one of the sentiments out. So this is on white, and that's the happy birthday to you. I think it's super cute. And then I also stamped it out on the front of this watercolor card that I'm going to be putting together as a square card later in the week. And I thought that was super cute. I think it's really pretty. I really like the handwriting. So there's that one. Again, that one is called Handwritten Happiness. Super cute. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. All right, the second one I picked up was Puppy Pals. And you can see they're kind of out of space here because I've already stamped them out, a few of them. And I just thought these puppies were super cute. Kind of looks like schnauzers maybe a little bit or something. So a little bit different. I like the bandanas on them as well. So I'm really looking forward to making a couple of cards out of these. And my first card is going to feature a couple of these two right here. A couple of these. I'm not sure which ones. I really just want to do the hair on the schnauzer. But I think I'm going to go with this one and this one. So I've got them stamped out. And it has some cute sentiments in there too. Have a tail wagon, good time, a treat for you. I'm itching to see you, you're my favorite human, which I like that one, you're my favorite human. I have that on another set somewhere. I love you like a dog loves bones. I think that's super cute. I'm really excited it's your birthday and I woof you. <laughs> super cute, has a bone, a couple of bones, a ball, and a dog food dish with dog food in it. Super cute, right? Really pretty. And that's what they look like stamped out. Super cute. I think the dogs are just different enough to be very interesting. And I'm really digging this one quite a bit. Alright, so there's that one. And then of course, the Birdie Brown. Knew it was going to happen, right? The Birdie Brown Happy Hippos. All right, so on these, we have You're Kind of a Big Deal, Hip Hip Hooray, Be Happy, Wishing You a Hippo Bird Day. A Hippo Bird Day. <laughs> okay, Hippo Bird Day. All right, it doesn't sound any better no, no matter how many times I say it. We'll always be friends, sending you tons of love. It's your day. A big, huge thanks and hip, hip, hooray. I just thought they are super cute. I really like the fact that we got the hippos in three different styles plus a small hippo. I love when they give us a small hippo. It's like having a mommy and baby. I love that. But I like that we had one stretched out, 
one with his arms behind his back and then one kind of running. I just thought that was super cute, super versatile, really stinking cute. And I also like the little birdies as well and the cakes and the balloons. So it's really cute. And these, excuse me, these are the ones that I'm going to be doing um, for the first card. I'm going to have the two hippos, the cupcakes, and the balloons on there. So I'll show you that one as soon as I finish it. I'll be working on these this weekend. And then I had to get the monkey. I just had to. Jungle Jim. Um, I didn't get the matching set, nor did I get the cats in this release. I still really just can't do kitty cats yet. I'm not there yet. Still very sad. So even though I thought they were really good looking cats, I just couldn't do it. So this one is Jungle Jim and um, I just really thought it was cute. I like the critters jumping rope and going down the slide and you know swinging on the swing. I just thought it was really really stinking cute and I thought I could use this one a lot because we um, Pukachu and I and Christina go to the park almost every single day I have them so I thought it would be cute to incorporate this into their baby book somehow. So that's cute. But the first card I'm going to make is, these are all going to be cut out with the scan and cut by the way because I didn't get the dies. Um, but this is going to be on a card and I'll show you that one when I get it done. It'll be cut out and then I'll be placing it on a card along with the two birds. So there's that one. Again that one is called Jungle Gem. Normally, I wait to stamp them out until after I've shown them to you guys, but I went ahead and did it tonight. I also picked up a replenishments in the um, circles. I have these that look like little Tylenol, um, and I, I think they do two different things, although I have to tell you I've had better luck with just pennies and foam tape than anything else, but I wanted to give these a try because of their round circles I thought it might be good because I do want to make a couple of more slider cards I have a couple in mind with some of these here and um, so I picked up those the little round ones I picked up both the paper pads so these are itsy bitsy polka dot pastels hmm I don't know if they had a brights or not I don't think so they might have though I might have missed it Really pretty colors. I'm crazy about my favorite things, cardstock, and this matches so much of the cardstock, so super excited. And who doesn't need, I mean, really, Peach, love it. Who doesn't need some polka dots in their life? So pretty. One of my favorite things to do is to use a polka dot paper and put vellum on top of it. It gives it such a soft look. So pretty. So there's that one very versatile pad. I can see me using all of this one. Now I am not the proper pinstripe kind of girl but I thought this would look really good on a lot of backgrounds. It's just your basic pinstripe with the white in between. Super pretty colors. Um, I think it'll be quite versatile. And I can use it quite a bit even though can you believe we're already getting started for fall what's up with that guys okay this is the smaller stencil the cloud stencil let me show you the other one Ooh. all right so when I heard small I thought it was a smaller size they're actually about the same size the stencils this one just has smaller little loops, but they're about the same size. I mean, there's. I thought this was like better shaped for an A2 size card or maybe a little smaller. It's just that these circles are a little smaller, but I'm excited to have that one as well. So this one is the new one right here. And I've already put ink to it so I could show you what it's going to look like. This was done with peacock feathers, and I think that's super cute. I'm loving those stencils. I don't even know if I'm in frame. I'm loving those stencils for the um, for cloud making. I think it's so pretty. So, so pretty. 
So there's that. Again, that is called Cloud Stencil. Nope, I lied. Mini Cloud Edges. Yeah, so it's the same size, it just has smaller edges. So this one's called the Mini Cloud Edges, and you're gonna get the smaller ones that look like this. Super pretty. All right, I also chose to pick up the Happy Birthday Circle Die. This will fit into, this will fit a two inch opening for your shaker cards if you're not using their specific pocket, their specific, you know, little plastic piece, but it does fit right inside there perfectly as well. And that's how that looks. Let me bring back my cardstock and show you. Like that. So super pretty. I just thought this would be super fun. And especially with those, um, you know, especially with these little things and having that as well, I thought, mm, you can't go wrong with that. I thought about getting these and the colors, but I decided against it because really, I don't really think I'm going to need the colors. But see, isn't that kind of cute? I think it is really cute. So I think that's just a good all around. You could do a lot of things with it, not just, you know, use it for a shaker card. So that was that one. And let me tell you what that one was called again. It's called the Happy Birthday Circle Frame. Okay. I had to pick up the Celebrate. I just thought it was really cute. Um, it's just a Celebrate die. And it looks, I wish I had white to show you, but it looks like that. It's really substantial, but thin. I just think it's super cute. So I've already cut it out twice because I'm going to tape them or glue them together. I already have a project in mind for that coming up this weekend. So there's that. And then the last thing I purchased was that little bitty balloon. And I just could not resist. I think the balloons are super, super adorable. Let me turn this over. Well, one of them is white. Let's go on here. And there's a the white one. I think if you colored them a little bit with your Copics too, it comes with a little stick for the balloon. I would probably use twine, but super cute, right? Really pretty. I also thought sometimes when we do our floral arrangements on our cards when we have them poking out, our silk flowers or our paper flowers, to poke one of these down in there like with a little stem with a heart would be kind of cute, right? With a little sentiment on it, like just I love you or something would be cute. So that is what I picked. So those were my favorite thing picks for the July My Favorite Thing release. So now let me know in the video in the little video box below what you picked. What were your favorite items from this release? And I will be making a few of these items and showing them to you this weekend. And then um, also this weekend we'll be talking about how you can share things over on my Facebook group. And it'll be like we'll have a theme of the week or a theme of every two weeks or something. You know, we'll have a, enough time, but we'll be doing a theme and then... Um, we'll be picking a winner for a small prize. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys are having a great evening. I will see you in the next video. I'm gonna start Copic coloring. I'm so excited. I feel like my Copics have been neglected with all this watercolor. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.